The Lord be with you. Welcome home to St. Mark's. Whether you're here in person, thank you for being here, and or in watching over uh, YouTube. It's great to have everybody here. Today, we're remembering uh, the gift of the Holy Eucharist, uh, Corpus Christi Sunday. Some of you may wonder why that place in Texas is called Corpus Christi. It means body of Christ. And that comes from the Spanish uh, background uh, down there where they uh, were just so glad to find safe haven. And they celebrated the Holy Communion to thank God for that. Also remembering dads, fathers. We understand, we Christians, that all fatherhood comes from God the Father, God's self. So we bless them on this special day. Let's stand and praise. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. The whole earth is full of God's glory. Glory be to God the Father, Glory be to God the Son, Glory be to God the Spirit, Glory to the Three in One. Glory, glory, sing the heavens, Glory, glory, sings the earth. Glory, glory, start through ending, Glory, glory, in new birth. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty God, you provide the true bread from heaven, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Grant that we who receive the sacrament of his body and blood may abide in him and he in us, that we may be filled with the power of his endless life, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the word of God. We first have a reading from Revelation that revelation to John, that magnificent vision he had. The marriage supper of the Lamb. Then I, John, in the revelation given to me, heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the sound of many waters and like the sound of mighty thunder peals, crying out, Hallelujah! For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. To her it has been granted to be clothed with the finest of linen, bright and pure. For the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And the angel said to me, write this, blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, these are the true words of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And in response, Psalm 34. Taste and see 
taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord, of the Lord. Let's sing it again. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord, of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall always be on my lips. My soul shall glory in the Lord, for he has been so good to me. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord, of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me, together let us all praise his name. I called the Lord and he answered me from all my troubles he set me free oh taste and see taste and see the goodness of the Lord oh taste and see taste and see the goodness of the Lord of the Lord worship the Lord all you people you'll want for nothing if you ask taste and see that God is good. In Him we need put all our trust. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord, of the Lord. Another reading. This time from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. He writes, The cup of blessing that we bless, isn't it a sharing in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, isn't it a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body. 
for we all partake of the one bread. I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as long as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let's stand and greet the gospel. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah! 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 you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus says, very truly I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of our one, true, holy, and living Lord, everybody say, Amen, and please be seated. Does Jesus feel close? Does he feel close when we sing J.L. Moore's setting of Psalm 34? Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Does he feel close in the holy meal? when we take his body and we take his blood into ourselves and we say, Christ in me, me in Christ, we abide together. Does he feel close? Does he feel close when we hear him say, I am the bread of life, consume me and you will never die. Believe that. See, what we do in the service of the Lord on the Lord's day, that is our holy Eucharist, our holy communion, what we do is celebrate 
being joined with Christ. Where Christ is, there are we also. And where are we? That marriage supper of the Lamb. Yes, the bread is a little host, and we have a sip of wine, but it's a symbol of what's already going on in heaven and what we are participating even now in that marriage supper of the Lamb. The Lamb is Jesus Christ who is sacrificed for us. That's the, that's the metaphor. And who's the bride? Us, his church. We are together already in heaven and celebrating. And you know what a marriage supper is. There are no accidents in scripture. Why a marriage supper? Well, we have fun at a marriage supper, right? We eat a lot, we drink a lot, we dance. We laugh. It's a real celebration. Yes, here on earth, it's a fallen world. We can be solemn when we approach the holy. Yes, that's exactly what God wanted of Moses. Take off your shoes, Moses. You're on holy ground. But nonetheless, there is this other aspect of it, this joy in feasting and eating together, eating and drinking and laughing, singing happiness like none other. And it's already started. It's hard to believe that when we baptize, I keep going back to this, but I feel drawn to do it. I hope it's the Lord speaking. When we are baptized, we are already starting into heaven. We have one foot in heaven already, and we are moving closer and closer and closer to it, to that great supper, that great joy, that happiness that knows no bounds. And it starts at that font. And we pray that the little kid getting baptized, you know, will in fact recognize at some point in his or her life who and whose she or he is and accept the free gift, the grace, of happiness and joy and being replete with good food. We pray that. Not everybody accepts it in their life. A lot of people don't, even after they're baptized. But it's there for the taking. And think, would you, about what happens when this life's done, when we served our time in this fallen world. I suppose most of us will think, well, we die. Then we either go to heaven or we go to hell. Boom, that's it. And if we go to heaven or if we go to hell, we are these disembodied spirits. Nothing could be frankly more pagan. That is not Christian. That's not Christian. Now, do we know what's going to happen? No, that's a mystery. That capital M, remember the divine mystery you have to live, you never can un fully understand it. And that's the way God wants it. But what we can tell is Jesus in his resurrected body. Jesus, when he comes back after his resurrection, well, he's not a ghost. He eats fish, has breakfast with his disciples, passes through doors without opening or closing them. It's a divine mystery. But he is on his way to that great ending, which is his already with God in heaven. 
Now think of that. We are all ready. By the time we are baptized, we are all ready on our way. Heaven is in us. We are in heaven. Not fully, but yes, we have, in, have heaven in us. We are one with Jesus. And Jesus is one with us. That's why I ask. How close does Jesus feel? And if he doesn't feel close, give him space. Give him space. Come to the banquet. Pray. Let the Holy Spirit work. And enjoy the fatherhood of God. There is no better dad. Much as our dads are wonderful so often for us in this world and love us to death, we can't beat God the Father who loves us whatever happens to us with a full heart and mind. We are joined to that holy trinity. Let's enjoy it and praise and give glory in every aspect of our life. Let's do it. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let's stand and sing what we believe in the words of the Apostles' Creed, our baptismal creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of a virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The great gift we are given in Christ and with Christ is to pray for the world and our brothers and sisters in the church, which we do now in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and not forgetting those who are alone. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for this community of Chesley and District. We pray for our country, our province, all the municipalities we know of. We pray for the world. And we pray for everyone who works for justice and freedom and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
and this beautiful earth. We pray for the just and proper use of God's creation, for the victims of hunger and fear and injustice and oppression. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray at the throne of the Heavenly One for everyone who is in danger, in sorrow, or any kind of trouble. We remember those who minister to those very people and to those who are ministering to the sick and the friendless and the needy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we do pray for the oneness, the peace and unity of the body of Christ, the church. We pray for all who proclaim the gospel in any way they can. We pray for all who seek the truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the special needs that we carry in our hearts right now. Lay them before the Lord. And we pray for those who have fathered us and father us still. And we thank Holy God for all the blessings of this life. Nor do we forget those who have gone before us, those who rest, those who are asleep in the bosom of the Lord. And we pray that they may journey on to have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Now, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the peace of the Lord be always with you. As we prepare to feast, let's sing. I come with joy to meet my Lord, forgiven, loved, and free in awe and wonder to recall his life laid down for me. Let's sing. I come with joy to meet my Lord, forgiven, loved, and free. In awe and wonder to recall his life laid down for me. As Christ breaks bread and bids us share each proud division ends, the love that 
made us makes us one and strangers now are friends and thus with joy we meet our Lord his presence always near is in such friendship better known we seek and praise him here well we have bread we have wine we've given alms let's celebrate Lord Jesus thank you I give you what you first gave me I give you my hands to do your work. I give you my feet to go your way. I give you my eyes to see as you see. I give you my tongue to speak your words. I give you my mind to think as you think. I give you my heart so that you owe me love in me. I give you my spirit so that you may pray in me. I give you myself so that you may grow in me. All things come of you, O Lord, and of your own do we give you. Let us love one another that we may celebrate this holy mystery in peace. A blessing of peace, a sacrifice of praise. Holy things for holy people, thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. Because in the mystery of the Word made flesh, you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts, to give the knowledge of your glory, in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And so, with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. Mm. Holy, mighty, and merciful Lord, heaven and earth are indeed full of your glory. In great love, you sent to us your Son, Jesus Christ, who reached out to heal the sick and the suffering, who preached good news to the poor, and who on the cross opened his arms to all. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, 
gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the recalling of me. Now, remembering his death, his life, his witness, his resurrection, his ascension, the whole thing, we await his coming in glory, and we proclaim our hope as we say, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Pour out upon these gifts and upon us the spirit of your love and unite the wills of all who share this heavenly food, the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen, amen, amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The disciples knew the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, these are the gifts of God for you, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. O Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Everybody say, Amen. The body of Christ given for us. 
Amen. And the blood of Christ shed for us. Amen. May we take and eat this holy food in remembrance that Christ died for us and feed on him in our hearts with great thanksgiving. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, wash me. Jesus, my Savior, dwell in me. The Lord be with you. Please stand. And let us pray. This very special prayer is from the Liturgy of South India. It's an English translation. It's very ancient, but very rich. Strengthen, O Lord, the hands outstretched to receive thy holy things. Vouchsafe that they may bring forth fruit daily to thy divinity. Grant that the ears which have heard the voice of thy songs may never hear the voice of clamor and dispute. That the eyes which have seen thy great love may also behold thy blessed hope that the tongues which have sung thrice holy may speak the truth that the feet which have walked in thy courts may walk in the regions of light, that the bodies which have tasted thy living body may be restored in newness of life. On this congregation adoring thy divinity, let thine aids be multiplied, let thy great love remain with us, and by thee may we abound in the manifestation of thy glory and open a door to the prayers of all of us. We who have drawn near by the grace of the Holy Spirit and to whom it has been vouchsafed to become fellows in the taking of these mysteries, most holy, divine, and life-giving, let us praise and exult in God, the giver of them. Amen. This is my Father's world, and to my listening ears all nature sings, and round me rings the music of the spheres. This is my Father's world, and to my listening ears, all nature sings 
and round me rings the music of the spheres. This is my Father's world, I rest me in the thought of rocks and trees, of skies and seas, his hand the wonders wrought. This is my Father's world, the birds their carols raise, the morning light, the lily white, declare their Maker's praise. This is my Father's world, He shines in all that's fair. In the rustling grass I hear Him pass, He speaks to me everywhere. This is my Father's world, in dreams I see his face. I hope my eyes in glad surprise see God is in this place. This is my Father's world, why then should I be sad? The Lord is King, let the heavens ring, God reigns, let the earth be glad. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, keep you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst us and remain with us forever. Everybody say, Amen. Now, go in peace. Bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.